It's good, fam. Everything I hope. Appreciate you guys swinging by, riding along with me. Um, I'm just blown away every day with all the like-minded individuals out there, like myself. I, I consider myself a really unique person, and uh, I guess you all are just as unique as I, um, and obviously in different ways. So I'm just happy that we can all relate, interact, and uh, and share our hobby, man. And with that, um, John Weissman, thank you, bro. You. Uh, you made me aware of the skate challenge that I overlooked piece and uh, you know I'm even first of all I'm even wearing this shirt today so good looks on for you Chromie I appreciate the shirt man um, I do skateboard love skateboarding love Hot Wheels don't love the Hot Wheels skate thing I do believe it's a money grab but that's what they're in the business of is making a profit so I don't fault them for it it's just not my vibe um, and albeit it's a treasure hunt too and but the treasure hunt thing I've really grown to realize that it's, it's not all that you know like here I got some examples there's a super treasure hunt and a main line it's amazing how many people thought the top one, the main line, was the treasure hunt versus the bottom, which truly is a treasure hunt. And it's a great version of a treasure hunt. It's a it's a vet, obvious, not obvious, but I do love vets. And um, so I'm, I'm going to be a little biased to it, but they're not that cool. They did the headlights, rad, put some rubber wheels on it, gave it a Spectra flame paint, didn't finish the back. And this is supposed to be a super treasure hunt, a rare car, a card that absorbs and holds this much value. It's not. So, uh, you know, what I get excited about is trying to complete the set of, of super treasure hunts and or treasure hunts. Not, not, not getting the treasure hunts and super treasure hunts, if that makes any sense, or chases. I, I look for the cars that I like. And it really makes the hunting that much more pleasurable, so share with you guys there i made a couple stops a couple grocers uh just safeway and albertson's actually but i did find some cars found the uh surf crate there's a treasure hunt again one of the coolest treasure hunts because it's metal on metal minus the wheels surfboard in the back that pink paint's pretty strong pink on the gold really works like that one then I did find a combi in the same bin. Moon Eyes. I always wonder why they don't make a replica Moon Eyes wheel, especially for this van and or the T1s and or uh, some Beetles. But they continue to put the five spokes on there and that's cool too, but Moon Eyes makes such cool products. I think they can probably do a little better in that regard rather than just selling us a logo, sharing a logo with us rather. Let's see, oh, found one of my absolute favorite releases from last year, the Toyota Land Cruiser 80. This dude, fella Dimitri made this casting and uh, did such a good job on there. And he's, he's such a rad dad because the page that's on the side is his daughter's name. I believe she was one and a half years old. I think that's what the 1.5 means. Not 100% sure on that one. But if you see the little uh, bomb that's dropping on the uh, rear quarter panel with the WL in it. Walter Lee. Ooh. Uh. Gosh, I love that truck. Good job you again, Dimitri. Um, dug into uh, the Albertsons bin, popped in there. 
Found that new C-Case oriented shipper. So scored the new Savannah. We've seen this car a couple times, seen it in the J Import, seen it in the main lines. This green on the gold goes great together. Strong casting, but I was messing with that car when the whole time I was looking for this one. The 88 Jeep Wagoneer. Oh, they did really good on this car. The proportions are right. They made it in this color um, when they introduced the vehicle. They have the winch on there. They could have finished the tampos, but the casting's out in the market, and I'm really happy about that. There's also that Wagoneer, Grand Wagoneer revamp, so um, it really fits that story for right now, so good time for them to release it. Really rad. Really rad, and while I'm thinking about it, um, I had some, uh, the neighbor kids pop by, wanted to do a little racing, a little trading, so we did. Show you guys really quick what I got. I, uh, had to buy this from the young man. The Rollerblade Super Rigs from Matchbox? Whoa. These things are from, like, 95. Yep, the year I graduated high school. Holy jeez, that was a long time ago. Rollerblade livery? In, in 95, that was a big deal. He also had the M&M's truck. Ah, oh, so sick. Super Rigs. Now, Hot Wheels owns the Super Rigs line. You can see them here. Um, and they, there's a car included normally. Um, stuff like that. But not what the Matchbox was then. And that's too bad for them. He had some loose cards he wanted to trade, too. You know, the Bone Shaker, Larry Wood crushed it with introducing this car. Still valid today. Oh, this one came from a Super Rigs that I remember not buying. And I guess that's okay because now I didn't have to buy the Super Rig to get the Bone Shaker. Thank you for that, Caleb. Appreciate you, my G. And then lastly, in that transaction deal, got this bone shaker. This one's extra. This is from that Target exclusive, uh, the Retro Classics. And kind of a hard one to find. It carries a little value, too. But what a rad cast. And I don't know if you guys are aware, but bone shakers no. They come in two versions. You have the open roof and obviously the solid roof. So, um, I don't believe there's a variation in the colors in that regard, but but um, just some subtle differences that you may not have been aware of. So let me help make you aware. It was a good time to show those because in that C case shipper, I did come across the new bone shaker white on white walls oh man they did great on this it's the hw dream garage team hot wheels and something awesome on there design awesome so cool and so you know that's an open roof version so cool. Stumbled across the new treasure hunt, CK's treasure hunt. The BMW R9T racer. I think it's the second time, or they normally give you a bike a year for a treasure hunt. Last year it was that Trek something. I'm not sure. Nice to have that treasure hunt. Now I gotta find the uh, US version, because that is the international version, yeah? No, this is the U.S. version. Pardon me. No, it's international. What was I thinking? Retro Racers. They brought in Matt and Debbie Hayes' uh, Pro Street Thunderbird. I, the pink original casting they introduced was strong. But this one's way better. OMG. And I wonder... It, for those of you who may know a little thing about Matt and Debbie Hayes, they had a, um, in the 80s, I think it might have even been this color, 
this white color, but uh, it was a Cutlass Sierra. That's what they were winning with in the 80s. Oh, well, well, here's to their Thunderbird. Also, cheers to this Mazda 787B. What a rad casting. It is most radical. Truly, I love this thing. Full ink, like that glass cockpit, tons of glass. Um, don't know if I love the mismatch wheels. I've never been a big fan of that. I've seen that happen more than thrice, but there's a purpose behind it. <laughs> Speaking of mismatch wheels, the main line to the CK Super, the 68 Copo Camaro, corporate office production order. You can order it and build it how you want. It's an art car, so they're really getting you on these art cars. Really getting me on these art cars. Pretty, pretty happy with this one. Excited to see it. Um, Camaros are to be respected, although I'm a Firebird guy, just to clarify. But I do respect Camaro because I, you gotta, gotta know what you're getting into. You gotta respect game. Speaking of respecting game, here you go. This white Zonda R, that sunny design. Wow. Wow. I thought the black one was insane. No. No, this one is bonkers. The Pirelli livery on the front, the Zonda R treatment on. Oh. Got the number one race number wow because it is number one it is really an amazing casting i've never seen one in real life so i couldn't speak to the proportions but i love the way this looks and they didn't make it track friendly because they didn't the track friendly cars they have kind of an upturned lip on the front uh not fascia but the front clip and this one's pretty flat, and I know that because I raced it against Sonny's other car, the Group C Fantasy. And uh, this is a rad car. You can see Sonny's name on the side there. What does it say? Sonny Spec has a uh, very relative look to the Zonda. You can see with the glass treatment, the little side cockpit windows, everything. So, dude. Good job you, Sonny, for having the uh, Hyper Supercar Division in Hot Wheels. That's rad, man. That's rad. Oh, we're not done, y'all. You know what's really, 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 really rad? Subi. She's she's a righteous babe. Total righteous babe. Subi sent me a box, and I opened it, guys, and had some uh, audio issues, so I had to show you guys in this segment and she sent the Volkswagen originals majorette diorama we're calling it a diorama it's got background so you've got the uh the t1 bus with the canoe on top or kayak rather you've got a couple beetles you've got another t1 with a uh a tule box a rocket box on the top and you got a t1 pickup with a surfboard that's floating around down there in the blue love this goes really good with the porsche edition uh diorama that kurt sent oh and that's cool because that's got a city backdrop this one has a nature backdrop so those will really really sit well together um baby cakes also sent another t1 the luggage rack on the top good job you majorette good job you guys make some cool cars it's one of six you can see there's a you can score the uh uh, the T1 and uh, the T1 cabby in that diorama set. And lastly, she sent me this 1971 Datsun GT or uh, Nissan GTR Skyline. Oh, MG. And it's a chase. One of 750 pieces. And that's, okay, so, and again, back to the Super thing. That's what I like about M2. One of 750. Or if you get a raw, one of 250. You even know with the main lines how many they made, 9,600. So when you do the math, you have a 
a little more than 7% chance to find a, a, uh, a chase piece from M2. And with the raw, you have a 2.4% chance. So there you go. You know what you're getting into. You know where the cars are in regard to the collection, um, where they rank. And, and I think that makes the hobby a lot more You can do the math with it. You can really, really uh, make some solid decisions and not just be, you know, uh, just vomiting out hypotheses on what you think or what we think or what someone else thinks or what eBay thinks, you know. Uh, you know, some of these things have value, you know. To me, it's just like a $50 car. It is, but that's just me. Anyway. That's the vibe. Just go hunt. Go find the cars that you're looking for, you know? Um, we're all looking for supercharger hunts and chases, so keep your eye out for those. But don't forget to uh, support the hobby by supporting yourself, you know? You should have the baddest collection, and that collection doesn't... The, the coolness of that collection isn't determined by what super you have or how many you have and all that. I think it's just by... How well you put them together, how well you kept those cards, how uh, good of an eye you had for some stuff that others may not have. And, and I think it's that simple. Let's be happy in 2023. You know, I know, I know the empty peg vibe it sucks. I know just like to stumble in some full pegs too. The balance, the balance of opposites, you know, you gotta, gotta have those, because if you don't have a bad day, you don't really know what a good day is, if you don't have a good day, you don't know what a bad day is, but that's our hobby, guys and gals, let's keep hobbying, stay vigilant, stay resilient, stay tuned, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notifications button. I try my best to make it all worth your while. All right, I got some other stuff to do. Sending those full peg vibes your guys' way. And I uh, appreciate you guys riding along. I'll let it play. Peace.